Now, what the devil does when we have these false ideas about why something doesn't happen, why a person doesn't receive, he beats the church up with condemnation. We didn't have enough faith. We, we didn't. What did we do wrong? If, if I was a better pastor, if, I, if, I'd, you know, if we'd have fasted more, if we'd, see, no, 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 no. All of that is under that old covenant. That's legalism. We wouldn't have to believe God. Faith guarantees. I mean, it takes pride out of the equation. Because it's grace that guarantees faith work. Faith isn't something I do to get God to move. Faith is my response to what God's already done. But you can't get people into receiving it unless you can get them on the it is finished side. And the only way to get them on the it is finished side is to get that, that, that crazy, tainted, traditional thinking about the law of faith out of them. And sometimes that takes some teaching. Sometimes that takes going to the well, like you go to the well with a bucket of mud, it may take a few dips to get the mud out before you ever get any clean water. And this is exactly what we're talking about right here. God wants to do some things that will absolutely revolutionize our life. But just because the power of God moves, just because the word's true, just because the blood covenant's there and it's eternal, just because he never changes and the goodness of the Lord leads men to repentance, we know what we know. We know what the covenant is. We know he's no respecter of persons. We know all the promises of God are yes and amen. But the truth is, when Jesus walked the earth, people died all around him. Well, come on now. Are you hearing me? That's exactly right. You're not getting out of the planet alive. In case you didn't know. The purpose of divine healing is not to keep folk from dying. It's to keep them alive and whole till they can finish their race. And then they get to check out of this hotel when they decide when the race is finished. Because you've got a glorified body coming. Divine healing is just a burst of resurrection power. It's the same power that took Jesus and blew him, his body, out of the grave. There's a reason we have to believe that he was raised from the dead bodily. And that is so that he doesn't leave all the victory over in the spirit realm. He transferred that victory back into the natural realm. And in Ephesians 5, it says he's the savior of the body. That means our body and our spirit are bought with a price. So the reason I believe God for healing is it costs heaven its best. It costs Jesus, his blood, it cost heaven everything it had. So evidently it's as important to God that I be healed as it is that I be saved. Because he paid the same price, he shed the same blood, he went to the same hell, he put it on an equal level, and he treated the curse like the curse because he never wanted any man to experience any trace of that curse. And he nailed that curse to a tree so you and I could live lives of wholeness. Glory to God. Glory to God.